In this lesson, we're going to be talking about managing processes. A process is a running instance of a program. So for example, if I were to start up Firefox here, I'm actually starting up a process. And Firefox is actually that process that I have just started up. Any program that is running is a process. And it has a process entry in the process table within the operating system. You may want to know how you would go about seeing all of the processes that are running. Well, I can run PS, which is my process statistics, and you can see I've got the process ID here, and then I've got the teletype terminal that we're running from, and I've got the time and then the command that's actually running. All that does is shows me all of the processes that are running within the context of this particular terminal window. So I could do, for example, a PSA, which is going to show me a larger list of all of the processes that are running. I could also do a PSEAF, which is going to show me basically the same list, but with additional details. And so you could see I've got some environment variables listed there. I can also use PSAUX. And that's going to show me all of the processes running on the system, regardless of what user I'm actually running as. So let me scroll up to the top here, and we're going to get to the column list. Here's what I just ran, PSAUX. You can see the first column is the user, and then I've got the process ID, the percentage of CPU, percentage of memory, and so forth. I've got a number of entries for the root user. And there's a lot of services that are running there. I've got uh, nobody user, color D, RT kit, and then of course my user. You can see all of the different process entries, and these are all processes that are running right now. All I'm showing you though is the list of processes at that moment that I run that command. I may actually want to have a list that's constantly updating. Before I do that, let me show you how I would go about narrowing this down. So I can use grep, which we've looked at before, and I'm going to look for Firefox. I've got two entries here. The first one is actually the Firefox program that I've run, and you can see it's user lib Firefox, Firefox. The next entry is actually the grep command looking for Firefox. So I'm going to see the Firefox entry as well as grep since I passed Firefox in to grep it shows up in my process list because it's a command line argument. So let me go back to the list that's constantly updated. There's a program that I can run called top, which is going to show me the list of processes that are running right now, and it's going to update itself periodically. You can see that Firefox was actually there, and so I've got Firefox. Let me actually close Firefox here. And then Firefox disappears from the list. You see, previously it was up towards the top. Now I've closed it and it's going to disappear. Let me start it back up again and come back to this window here. Now you can see Firefox is right at the top and it should drop down in a second or so as it kind of settles in and doesn't need as much processor utilization once it's started and actually just kind of sitting there not doing anything. And now you can see it's dropped down to number four right now. So again, we've got the process ID, we've got the user, those are the columns that we've got. We've got a prioritization value because the CPU needs to know how it's prioritized, whether it's more important than other processes or not. And then we've got some memory statistics and the percentage of CPU and memory that are being used. So lots of different information about the processes. Up top, we've got some more system-specific information. So we've got the percentage of total CPU in use. And then we've got the uptime. At this point, we've been up 11 minutes because I just installed some upgrades to the operating system and had to reboot for that. And I've got my load average, which is an average of the number of processes that are in the CPU queue at this particular moment. And there are three entries there for right now. And then there are two past entries for that. So you can see kind of a historical load average over a period of the last several minutes. So we've got PS and then we've got top. 
And those are a couple of different ways you can look at the processes that are running on your system at any given time.